everyone. Welcome to Playtime with Miss Karen. I'm glad to see all of you again. It's been a little while. So we have a wonderful day ready for you today. So I want to say hello to all my Playtime friends out there, both old and new. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's start with our handy dandy whistle. Here we go. Remember, when the whistle goes up, you stand up. Ready? Here we go. And back down. All the way back down on your chair. And here we go. Way up on those tippy toes. And see if you can stretch way up and grab some of that sun and bring it on down. Here you go. Okay, today is Friday, so let's get our Friday wiggles out. Here we go. Nice wiggling out there. I love it. All right, let's go ahead and do some of our hula hoops. We love our hula hoops. Let's put those hula hoops on. Here we go. Got them on? All right, make sure they don't fall off. Here we go. when I'm in the schools with my, my students here, I think it would be fun to do our marshmallow walk. Because, you know, even if you're in your house all day, you still have to use those marshmallow feet. You can't go running around making all kinds of noise. So let's do our marshmallow feet. And let's go ahead and put some marshmallows in our mouth so we have marshmallow mouths and marshmallow feet. Here we go. marshmallow feet. And how about those marshmallows in your mouth? So got them? Well, let's chew them up and swallow. Oh, aren't those yummy? <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and make a little rainbow in the sky. Here we go. And back. One more rainbow. And back again. Now, since we're talking about the sky, Let's make a nice big moon in the sky. And that's going to be the shape of a circle. So let's do a circle. Ooh. All right, one more time. Ooh. And now I'll do it with my whistle. Ooh. One more time. Ooh. Awesome job. I love it. All right, get ready to sit. Here we go. all the way back down again. All right, so friends, let's get our playtime hands all ready for our playtime song. All right, just have to wait for our music and get those playtime hands all ready. Everyone got them? Remember, just like this, and putting your fingers out and then moving them back and forth. Here we go. It's time for playtime, playtime, everyone. It's time to read a book and have some fun. It's time to sing a song and dance and run. It's time for playtime, everyone. It's time for playtime, playtime, everyone. It's time to read a book and have some fun. It's time to sing a song and dance and run. It's time for playtime, everyone. Come on, stand up. Get those wiggles out. Friday, Friday, jiggles out. Let's get you all ready for your book here. Go around a little circle, not too fast, you don't want to get too dizzy. Let's go ahead and make that moon up in the sky. Here we go. Ooh, get ready to sit down. Here we go. It's time for playtime, playtime, everyone. It's time to read a book and have some fun. It's time to sing a song and dance and run. It's time for playtime, everyone. It's time for playtime, playtime, everyone. It's time for playtime, everyone. Awesome job, everyone. Thank you. So, <clears throat> today, we have a wonderful book. 
and I'm going to start right off by showing you the cover. Here is our book. Now, let's just look at this cover. What do you notice about it? That means what do you see on the cover? Let's all look here. Let's see. Hmm. Oh, I see a goat. There's a goat. What else do we see? How about, well, that looks like a plant, maybe. And a house. Oh, that looks like a little girl. Actually, it is a little girl, and her name is Lala, and she's going to be in our story. Let's see. I see a little doggy back here. Hmm. And then I see up here, I, it looks like it could be the sun, but maybe it's the moon. I'm not really sure. Maybe it is the moon because it's white. So those are all kinds of wonderful things we saw on our cover here. And last thing we said, we said we thought this was the moon. And I think that might be what it is because the name of our book is I Just Want to Say Good Night. Now let's think about that. When you see the moon, when do you normally see the moon? That's right. You see it at night up in the sky, right? It might be really big, a big circle like we made, or it might be just a part of a moon. But the moon's up in the sky at nighttime. <clears throat> Think about nighttime. What are the things you do before you go to bed at night? What are some of the things that you do? Let's see. Right, you might brush your teeth, right? Get a glass of water. Oh, that's a good one. I think that putting on your jammies is a great thing to do because you're getting into bed, right? Maybe reading a story and giving good night kisses, right? Those are all things that you can do before you go to bed. Well, we have our little friend Lala here, and we're going to see the different things that Lala does before she goes to bed and see how they are the same or different than what you do. Are we ready? So here's our story. I Just Want to Say Good Night by Rachel Isadora. And this is a beautiful book if you look at all of the colors on the pages. On the African veld, there is a village. And as the sun sets, parents tell their children, it's time for bed. Now notice, that was the sun that came down. It's almost setting, and it's like an orangish-reddish color. Very pretty. And this takes place in Africa. So it's going to look a little different than what you have around your neighborhood. Lala greets her papa, who has been fishing. Ooh, you caught a big one, she says. Yes, it was a good day, Papa says. And here they are, fishing. He's got his pole right there, and she's walking back with him. It's time for bed, Papa tells Lala. Well, I just want to say good night to the fish, Lala says. And there's the fish right there. Come, Lala, Mama says. I just want to say good night to the cat, Lala says. There's the kitty cat. Yeah. Eating something yummy on a plate. It's getting late, Mama calls. Well, I just want to say good night to the bird, Lala says. What a pretty bird. Look at all the colors. Lala! Well, I just want to say good night to the goat, Lala says. She's giving a nice big hug. It's time to go to sleep, Mama calls. Well, I just want to say good night to the monkey, Lala says. Boy, Lala gets to say good night to a monkey. That's pretty special. I wish I had a little monkey like that around here.
Come now, Mama says. Well, I just want to say good night to the chickens, Lala says. You can see that must be the mama chicken and then all the babies. And we call the babies chicks. Aren't they cute? There's a lot of them there, too. Oh, and there's our moon. Look how big it is now. And we got stars in the sky. Oh, it is getting late. She needs to go to bed. Oh, Lala, Mama says. Well, I just want to say good night to the little ants, Lala says. It's going to be kind of hard to see, but we've got little ants all in a row here on the ground. And she wants to say good, good night to them. I'm just not ready to go to sleep, Lala says to her dog. The dog says, woof. Now, Mama says, yes, yes, I am coming. I just want to say good night to the rock, Lala says. <laughs> She's holding a rock. Maybe it's her favorite rock. Maybe like one of the pet rocks. But she wants to say good night to it. Lala gets into bed. Sweet dreams, Mama says. Good night, Mama. So she's saying good night to Mama. And Lala's in her bed there, and you could see that it looks like maybe a little brother or sister, a little baby, is in the same room as she is. So your your room might look a lot different than Lala's room. And look, at even little chicks are coming in the door there. <laughs> they want to spend the night inside the house. I just want to say good night to my book, Lala says. Because we do love to look at books right before we go to night nights. Good night, Moon, she whispers and smiles. She's saying good night to the moon that's up there. She can see it out her window. And now she's going to sleep. This is what she sees. So, wasn't that a wonderful book? I love all the different pictures that are in here and all the different things that Lala says goodnight to. So speaking of that, how different was the way that Lala says goodnight and the way you could say goodnight? Do you sometimes take the time to say goodnight to different things around your house, like Lala did? Or you just make sure that you get your jammies on and, and you go and brush your teeth and take a little, um, maybe a bath or something, and then have her a little book and that? So it might be a little different than what Lala did. But let's look at what Lala was doing in our book here. She saw all kinds of different things, and she said goodnight to them. I want to see if we can remember some of those things that she said goodnight to, and see if we might be able to put those things in order that she saw them. So I've got my handy-dandy board here. I've got some pictures here, and we can look at these pictures and see if we know which way and in which order they're in. Now, when we say order, that means the first thing she saw and said good night to, and then the second thing, and the third thing, and all the way through. That's what putting something in order is. So, let me see. I'm not really sure. I'm just going to kind of pull some of these out here. We have our kitty cat here. So, I don't know. I think maybe the kitty cat was somewhere in here. I'm not really sure. We have the fish. What do you think the fish was? I think it was first. Do you think it was first? Yes, let's try it first. There's our little fish. Now we have a little goat. I see a goat was probably over here somewhere. Not exactly sure. And we have some ants, some little ants. So we're going to put the ants, I think that, that was down here somewhere. I'm not exactly sure. I'm going to put them down there for right now. But then we had our little book. The book actually was called Good Night Moon. And I think that was down here somewhere. Let's see, we have a birdie. Little birdie. I think the birdie might have been up here. And we had a monkey. Cute little monkey, which I wish I had. That little monkey, we'll put that little monkey there. Let's see, we have a rock. Um, I think a rock might have been, oh, maybe over here somewhere. Not really sure. 
And we have our moon. I think that was maybe all the way at the end there. We had mama. And I think mama was over here somewhere. And then we had our little, our little chicks. So let's see, our little chicks. Let's put our little chicks here. All right, now, I have them in order. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I have eleven pictures. But you know what? The only way I can really know for sure I have them in order is if I look back in the book. And that's okay to do. That way you can check to see if your pictures is in the right place. So let's look real quick. Our first one is a fish. So let's see. Oh, it looks like fish was right. Fish was our first animal that Lala said goodnight to. Let's see what's next after that. Then Lala said goodnight to the kitty cat. Oh, we were right. The kitty cat was next. Okay, let me see. Ooh, we did a super job, didn't we? The bird was next, and that's what we had. So that was the third one that Lala said goodnight to. Okay, we have the goat next. Oh my gosh, you guys are so great. You got all four on the top right so far. Yes, you got the goat is the fourth one. Let me see. And there's our monkey. Our monkey was right there. Good job. Let me see. Next we have, we have the chicks. Well, guess what? We have the chicks right here, right after the monkey, right? So we did a good job on that one, too. Next, we have the little ants. You think we got the ants? Let me see. Oh, yeah, we got ants are next. That was perfect. And she says, good. she talks to her doggy, and her doggy just says, woof, though. Oh, the next one is the rock. And we did get the rock. I'm amazed. I didn't know we were going to get them all right like this. I was just putting them up, really. With all of your help, of course. Next, she says goodnight to Mama. And there's Mama right there. Then she says goodnight to her book, which is right here. And the very last one was saying goodnight to the moon. <gasps> I'm impressed. You did an awesome job. I really thought that we were going to get some of those wrong, and we didn't. But guess what? Even if you had something in the wrong place, say you had your ants over here and your rock was over here, then all you'd have to do is you would just say, oh, in my book, the ants came first, and then you could just move them around. Just like that. And you're never really wrong. You're always learning, right? So that's a fun thing to do. And you can take any book that you have, and you can put things in order. So it doesn't necessarily have to be this book. So we just put all of our animals in, in order here. So since we're talking about our animals, I thought that we'd do a little song. And a little song, I'm actually going to go over it a little bit with you first. Because Lala says goodnight to all the animals. Now, she was saying goodnight to our kitty, right? The kitty would say what? Yes, says meow, 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 right? If a mommy and a daddy or a grandma, grandpa were saying goodnight to you, how do you think that they would say goodnight to the kitty? They would say meow, meow, meow to the kitty, right? To say goodnight. So I have a little song, and I'm just going to sing it real quick here so you can see how it sounds. I'm a little kitty, and my daddy loves me. I'm a little kitty, and my mommy loves me. When they tuck me in to say goodnight, they say, meow, 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 good night, good night, good night, good night, little kitty, good night, good night. Good night. Meow, meow, meow. Good night. Let's try another one. 
Let's see. In our story, we had a little birdie. Yes. This is a birdie that you'll probably be seeing pretty soon. And this is a robin. So, if a mommy and daddy was saying goodnight to the little robin, the robin might say, tweet, tweet, tweet. Right? So, mommy and daddy would say, tweet, tweet, tweet. Right back to them. So, let's sing our little song again. Ready? I'm a little bird and my daddy loves me. I'm a little bird and my mommy loves me. When they tuck me in to say goodnight, they say, tweet, 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 good night. Good night, good night. Good night, little birdie, good night. Good night, good night. Tweet, 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 good night. I think you might be ready. So now we're going to sing the song with a little bit of music behind us, and we have a couple other little objects. And it is called a good night song. Everyone ready? My first one's going to be a little froggy. Okay. Same way we just got done singing it. I'm a little frog and my daddy loves me. I'm a little frog and my mommy loves me. And when they tuck me in to say goodnight, they say, Willie, 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 good night, good night, good night, good night, little froggy, good night, good night, good night. Good night. Good night. a parent 
or someone help you out, uh, an older person, you could probably punch little holes using the end of a pencil or a little pen, but they'll need to help you out with that. And then you take pieces of yarn or pieces of string and you put them together. You can just make long strips. Some of them can be longer than the other ones. And then you have something that you can hang it on in your bedroom. Now this is, a, like I said, it's a mobile and it's called a mobile because you can put it in your room or you can put it different places and it just hangs there and you can look at the different things that you've chosen. Now, for your pictures, I actually have a few pictures and I just cut the pictures out and I just went ahead and put a string around them and then hung them from the little holes I made. And then I just put the other string together and put a little knot on it so it can hang. But guess what? You don't have to necessarily just use this. You can use something else I'm going to show you in just a second. But I want you to see my pictures here. Here's a picture of my dad because he doesn't get out very much because of our having to be isolated. But I have to go over and I help him out every once in a while. Oh, here's a picture of my husband. He's got his cowboy hat on. <laughs> That's very silly. Oh, there's my kitty cat. There's one of my kitties. Uh, let's see, I also have, oh, let me see, I have my daughter here and my son in this picture. But you know what? You can put anything you want on your little cards to make your mobile. You could cut something out of a magazine, or you can draw little pictures yourself, and then just paste them on another piece of paper, and just hang them on your mobile. So this will be something fun that you can make, make as a family, and then you can hang it in your bedroom. And at night, you can say goodnight to all of the different pictures that you have hanging on there. And maybe you're not quite so lonely at night when you say goodnight to every, uh, everyone on your mobile here. So, I showed you we could use a paper plate here, but there's another one that you could also use. You can actually hang stuff on a hanger, too. I have a round one you can hang them on here, and they would come down. And it's the same thing, and then you just hang that anywhere in your room. And you can see your mobile. So I hope you had a good time today finding out about ways that you do things differently at night, saying good night to people in your family, saying good night to things around your house, and just saying good night and doing a certain routine to get yourself ready for bed. Because I know it's kind of hard sometimes because most of us don't have to get up to go to work or have to go to school, but you still you want to stay up a little bit late at night, and that's not always a good thing to do. Yeah, even Miss Karen does the same thing, and I shouldn't. So to get yourself to go to sleep, you can use something like that and say goodnight to different things. So we're going to see Miss Trish on Monday, and she has another wonderful book for you. And that's going to be at 3 o'clock. And so today, let's go ahead and say our goodbye song. I hope everyone will join in with me. Okay, here we go. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. I'll see you in three days. Goodbye, everyone.